TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. In this video, what I'd like to show is how to add different graphics to the HMI screen and how to do some very basic um, uh, animation. Um, in this case, what we'll do is we'll show you how to turn something invisible, okay, or make it visible when certain thing happens. So right now what I have is just a very basic green latching push button on our TII Technical Education's uh, Siemens PLC and HMI trainer. And what we want to do now is I'm just going to grab an output and drop it onto the screen. And I'm going to define, I'm going to create, this is just going to be a product on conveyor. Okay? And then I will define this tag as just an internal memory. Okay? And this is all I'm going to put on this screen. Now I'm going to simplify this. Usually these are part of much com more complex programs. But for the purpose of getting to the point, what we'll do is we'll just make this a very simplistic uh, internal bit. And so then what I want to do is go to the root screen. And I have an empty root screen here. And in this root screen, what I want to do is I want to add a graphic. So as long as I have my workspace um, clicked on, I can come over to my toolbox. And your toolbox will usually open looking like this, with like your basic objects or something like that. Okay? But what we want to do is we want to click on the graphics button down here. And then we want to minimize your basic objects. Now, in this, what we have is called the WinCC graphic folder. And inside of here are all of your pre-made graphics that the Siemens CII uh, portal comes with. So we're going to expand out equipment, we're going to go to other equipment, and we're going to go to conveyors. And then we're going to select miscellaneous. Now there are a lot of different graphics that are available to you, and I highly suggest you spend some time going through there to kind of get the full landscape of the different graphics that are available to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a very basic conveyor belt, okay? And in this conveyor belt, what we can do is we can expand it, we can make it as thick or as long as we need, okay? And this is how you add a graphic, all right? And if I wanted to add, you know, something else to it or, um, you know, whatever I wanted to do, I could. There are so many graphics available. So if I wanted to add a motor, I could come here and grab a motor. All right, and I could add it over to the side here and you know make it kind of seem like it's attached. And there are just so many different functions that you can do like that. But for now, all I want is a basic conveyor. And this is how you add a graphic. It's pretty simple once you've done it a couple times. Sometimes finding the graphic folder can be a little tricky the first time you do it. So now that I have that, what I want to do is expand out the basic objects. And I want to simulate a box being put on a conveyor, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just a regular box in my basic object, a little square, and I'm going to set it on the conveyor. I'm going to expand it out, make it a little bit bigger, so it's easy for you to see on the HMI. All right, and I can minimize my toolbox here for a second. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to my main OB1. And what I'm going to use this right green push button for is to simulate a proximity sensor sensing the product on the conveyor. In this case, just a cardboard box. So this is going to this is going to simulate my proximity sensor. So I'm going to go back to my root screen and here it is. Now I want to make to make this look a little bit more like a uh, like a cardboard box. So I'll double click on it. Go to properties and select a more cardboard-esque color. All right. And then what I want to do is go to animations. And in animations, this is where you can go through and do a lot of your movements, visibilities, appearance, all sorts of things. So what I want to do is I'm going to select visibility, okay, by adding new. And now what it's going to ask for is it's going to ask for what tag do you want this um, to be visible or invisible when it's activated. So what I want to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to click my browse. I'm going to go to my PLC tags, select default table, 
and I'm going to select product on conveyor. Select my green check button and that will place this in my tag. Okay. Now, as this is booting up, now what we can do is we need to select its range. Now, this is just a binary output. It's either on or it's off. But if I were using a counter or a timer, it's accumulated value, I may want to change this around and make it only visible for five seconds or something like that. So what I want to do is I'm going to change this to one, and I'm going to change this to one as well. All right. And when that value is one, from one to one, so basically whenever it's on, it will be visible. All right. And believe it or not, this is actually ready to go. So what I can do is I'm going to come back to my own main OB1. I'm going to download my PLC program. Then I'm going to go to my root screen and download this. Okay, now that we're downloaded, I've turned on my monitor function. And so watch what happens when I activate the right green push button. So I activate the right green latching button and the cord board box appears. I deactivate it and it disappears. So this is how you add visibility to an object. In this case, it's a very generic um, cardboard box that would be sensed by a sensor out there in the field. All right? And also how you add a graphic to the screen. Okay? So I uh, hope this helped on how you can do uh, add graphics to a Siemens HMI and how you can add visibility to an object that you place on your root screen. This was Chapter 21.1 in the TII Technical Education Systems Trainer. Thanks for watching.